What's up everybody? Welcome back to Bayou Bandit Charters. I get a ton of people asking me all the time, Captain Jody, how do you prepare your flounder? So I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna show y'all four, four different ways I like preparing my flounder uh, due to size and different ways I like to eat my flounder. If you love inshore fishing along the Alabama and Mississippi Gulf Coast, give my channel a subscribe. I'd appreciate it, really help me out a lot. If you like this video, smash the like button. Enough talking, let's get in here, start cleaning some flounder. If y'all watched my last video, I'll leave the link right there. Y'all saw me catch these four flounder rod and reel fishing using the Smackdown Dirty Boxer from Fish Bites. So I'm gonna show y'all the way I like cleaning this flounder four different ways. Uh, we're gonna start off, we'll take this guy right here. Have you a mat, have you something where your fish doesn't slide around? I use a cheap uh, floor mat from Home Depot. I cut in half. I've been using that mat probably six or eight months. It's still holding up good. Fish don't slide on it, works out great. Always use a cut resistant glove. These things are lifesavers. They will protect your hands unbelievably well. You ain't got to worry about cutting yourself. None of that. Take your hose, get that slime off the fish. These smaller fish, 15 inch long fish, I like to fry these whole or butterfly them for stuffing. We'll show you that right now. Stainless steel wire brush. That's the best thing in the world for scaling these flounder. It's quick, it's easy, and it doesn't miss any scales at all. Do both sides. Yes, they do have scales on the white side. All right, once we have the flounder completely scaled, I've got a heavier knife I like using to cut the head off. You can take that head and give it a twist and the head will pop right off. Get in here, very little guts on the flounder. I'll clean those out just like that. Go back with your hose. Clean out the gut cavity. And this is simple, simple way to do it. I'll be using my Sword 7 inch Flexi. Really love this knife. Very corrosion resistant knife. Uh, my knives never see fresh water. They stay on the boat. And I clean a ton of fish with these knives. Super sharp. I love the fact that they've got that coating on the blade that keeps them from rusting. If you're interested in a sword knife, I'll leave my affiliate link down in the description below. Good products. Great grip on these handles. Can't say enough about them. Good balance to them. So easiest way we get this flounder right here we're going to come in and we're going to cut some diamonds just like that and that's it you take that fish right there, you get your Cajun seasoning, and you pack it in all those little cuts. And you batter that fish, and you fry him whole till he's good and golden brown. You cannot ask for a better meal. That boned-in fish is some of the best. That bone flavors the fish. And that's an excellent, excellent way to prepare a flounder that size. All right, our second flounder. This flounder, we're going to butterfly open for stuffing. Once again, 
take our wire brush. Get those scales off real quick. Once again, we're going to use our rigid knife. Get in here, cut the head off. Clean the guts out. Spray that fish down. Lay him up on our mat. We'll get that sword knife. We're gonna come right down the backbone, just like that. We'll get our knife and come in here and start working. Working from the backbone over to the edge. You don't wanna cut through. You just wanna let that knife ride real slow you just want to let that knife ride real easy right to the edge but not going through just like that now you can take that fish, put your Cajun seasoning in there, butters in there, crab stuffing in there, fold him back up, bake him in the oven, and that's a great way to stuff flounder. That's the most common way you see just about everybody doing it. In a minute on flounder number four, I'm gonna show you the ultimate way to do it. If you have already seen some of my previous videos, you know, but I'm gonna show y'all again and show the people that haven't seen it yet. So that's flounder number two. All right, this is flounder number three. We are gonna fillet this flounder, so no need to worry about scaling him. We're gonna start with the white side first. We're gonna go in with our sword seven inch flexi. Make our cut. We're gonna turn this knife and we're gonna ride it right down the backbone and fillet this side off. You can see the tip of that knife right by that backbone. We get right there, we're gonna go all the way through and out to the tail. Now I'm doing this a lot slower than I normally do where I can show y'all, y'all can see real good. Jump over that backbone, make your cut, invert your knife, boom like butter clean no meat wasted flipping back over same thing on the other side make your cut invert your knife let it ride right down that backbone get close to the tail cut through and all the way out Invert your blade, draw that knife, boom. We got two nice fillets, got a little bone right there we gotta trim off. Now I use stainless steel catfish skinners. I can pinch that meat right there. Go in with that knife. No meat 
waste it at all. Clean, clean. Take that fish, cut it in half. A lot of people go down each side and there's four fillets and then they got to skin four fish. If you do the whole top and bottom at one time, it saves you half the steps. There we go, nothing but skin. All right, so we got four nice flounder fillets right there. And last but not least, the ultimate way to stuff flounder. We're gonna start off by scaling this fish. Now we're going to cut the head off. All right, we're gonna start with the white side. We're gonna take our blade. Go right in, find that backbone. We wanna work the edge of that knife right to the edge of the fish without going through. We got the tip of our knife right there at the end of that fish. And we're gonna invert our knife. Same on the other side. We'll go right to the edge. Work our knife blade all the way to that tail. And right to the edge without going through. Invert. Same thing. Keep working the tip of that knife to the edge of the fish. All right, there's the tip of my knife. And we're gonna invert. Once again, same thing. We're making a big pocket and we're fixing to pull that whole backbone out of this fish. Make sure we got him good on both sides. There we go. Now you can use kitchen scissors, whatever you want to use. Come in here cut in as far as you can now we want to get this fish rolled we want to roll in just like that now we can pull that backbone while we roll the fish all the way down to the very base of the tail cut it off and we've got a pocket now we're going to come in here and trim all these bones just like that we get in here with our scissors our snips whatever we have
it takes a little bit more time but it will definitely impress some guests you can see that's our backbone out of that fish and what I like doing is I'll put my Cajun seasoning heavy melt some butter pour on it and then all you got to do is reach in there and grab that tail invert that whole flounder and you have a big big stuffing pocket right there to put all your crab stuffing, all your seasoning, butter in there, bake in the oven. That is a meal to surely impress. No bones at all, you can eat that whole fish. All right, there you go. That's the four ways I like preparing my fish. Once again, we've got the frying hole with the diamonds cut out. We've got the butterfly for stuffing. We've got the filet, and then we've got the ultimate stuffed pocket flounder. So if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. If you didn't get to see me in the bayou, you can see me right here on Bayou Bandit Charters every Sunday morning, 9 o'clock. Thank y'all. See y'all on the next one.